Sagan. Hey, what is going on guys? This is your boy Fanatic. And today I've got a great video for you guys. I'm sorry for my absence. It's because I have I've had exams and that's the simple explanation guys that I have no more big stories or anything. I've taken such a big break but I'm finally back. And I'm back for the better, I suppose. So this video guys is going to be showing you how to make money in GTA Online. So um the reason I'm making this video is because um like recently I've just made like the 14 million and I spent so much money on just cars and I made the money back so quickly that I'm on 10.4 million as you can see by the gameplay. So, let's get on with the video. As you guys can see on the screen, number one is the CEO, guys, of course. Um, he, he, I'm going to put the special crate and the um, vehicle cargo in the same um, let's go category because it's up to you what you want to do. So, as you see, I'm doing vehicle cargo. I prefer vehicle cargo because it's really simple what to do. Like you don't have to say like your cars or anything. Um, so what you have to do is that you get the car that, that, that's been assigned to you like in the gameplay. I don't know what car it is. But in the gameplay uh, there's a car assigned and I have to get that. And um, the, uh, and all I have to do is put it, uh, bring it back to my garage. My vehicle warehouse sorry. And then just sell it for 100k because it's a top range car. And that's all you have to do guys. And for special crates you already know how special crates go. Um, so yeah, I don't need to explain that. So yeah, number one is the vehicle, wa vehicle warehouse and, and the special crates. Alright guys, so in number two is the VIP work. Now you can do this between the motorcycle club and the VIP uh, and the like the um, crates and the uh, vehicle cargo missions. So you, all you have to do is go into the extra menu, it's vehicle, uh, secure CEO and then go on any ones that you want so I, I enjoy executive search I personally I think it's one of the best ones and it's really fun too so because you, all you have to do is hide around um, in, in, in like the in like the little circle they give you and you can do this uh, in between like each like I said uh, like each like thing you do like vehicle cargo or like the uh, motorcycle club and I'm also gonna put um, like contact missions or all of races or stuff like that so double XP and RP guys now it's really beneficial. I mean, that's how I made. Uh, that's how I used to make money. That's how I got up to being a CEO. Cause CEO is one of the best ways to make money, um, as we all know. So I, I suggest uh, using double XP and RP bonuses to, of course, make you um, like rich enough so you can get the CEO and make the money and then never be poor again. So yeah, guys, VIP work is one of the best ones. And this executive executive search mission you can see in the gameplay is actually really good. You get 25k for doing so, and it's like really good. Um, uh, the second one I recommend is Sightseer, uh, just because like um, you don't have to kill anyone. All you have to do is drive around a little bit, collect packages, and not die. And the third one I'd recommend is probably um, it depends if you've got a car, if you've got special vehicles like I have. Um, I recommend like the, um, uh, the the kit car one, the Rune 2000 mission, or the rocket car one. Of course, they're the best ones. And um, lastly, um, I'll rec also recommend VIP challenges if you have an association in the um, actual CEO of yours. Because um, right after, what you can do is just right after you finish your VIP work, you can start the VIP challenge and vice versa. And like, and by the time your VIP uh, work like recharges, you can do VIP challenge. And by the time you finish your VIP challenge, you can do a VIP work. So that will make you a lot of money. So yeah guys, that was number two, which is uh, in summary, uh, VIP work and double XP and RP and VIP challenges. Alright guys, so in number three is actually the uh, motorcycle club. I'll be, I, I mentioned it throughout the video a little bit. But um, more specifically the cocaine lockups and like, you know, the your lockups basically. Um, not, not so much the uh, motorcycle like challenges like as you, um, like in the gameplay. Um, they switch over every week. Um, but um, but I like to do the lock, uh, the lockups. So as you can see in the gameplay, you you, you probably see it. Uh, I'm going to my cocaine like business, um, and then and then um, I can just like you know, and um, do whatever I want to with them like buy supplies. And it's actually more hands off. Um, you guys probably heard that word like a hundred times by now. But yeah, uh, CEO work is more hands on. Um, so like you have to like correct the, cr uh, the collect the crates or like. Um, I don't know like um, collect the vehicle but here all you have to do is get supplies and then uh, check back every couple of hours and then yeah, you, your product bar uh, which is like how much you sell it how much like it's made and how much money you're gonna get that's what it decides how much money you're gonna get 
So um, yeah, uh, so as you can see in the gameplay, I, I actually have a cocaine lockup, um, which is really good, guys. Um, cocaine lockup and like methamphetamine that gives you the best money. So yeah, th that's why I bought them. So it's uh, like I said, it's a lot more hands off, and um, yeah, that, that, guys, that's it. And it's actually also, guys, um, it's also much cheaper than the actual CEO. Uh, it doesn't cost as much to be a um, to be a um, biker, because um, I think I spent around like three to two million or something like that uh, being a ceo um and i spent like one point something million to be a biker i i, I don't know because um i remember spending quite a lot of money for ceo and, and like not that much for, for for the biker so yeah it's also much cheaper if, if, if you don't want to do ceo so you can see in the gameplay um all you have to do is like obviously get some supplies buy some supplies and um yeah at the end of the day you're gonna basically get free money um to be honest with you because it doesn't cost a thing unless you actually want to buy the supplies um, which is like obviously you have to pay but you don't have to do missions but the missions are actually quite fun so I just prefer like stealing the supplies and it doesn't cost a thing so yeah guys that was it uh, number three and uh, let's go on to the next one all right guys so last but not least oh by the way um i've recorded like this part of the gameplay right after but i'm, I'm actually doing a voice over it but um yeah guys lastly um the final thing that can make you a lot of money in gta is the actual contact missions guys so now i don't mean every single one but like the really good ones so such as um um thing it's called the um blow up 2 i'm pretty sure uh that's how i actually made my first million in gta um, so as you guys can see, um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start a blow up two in the gameplay, and um, yeah guys, it's so simple. Other way cool, uh, survive a three like wanted level, three star wanted level, and just like dupe the cops and that's it, and that's the end of that uh, mission. I don't mean to sound like every other YouTuber when I say GTA Online because like that's just weird. Why do you want to say that? But yeah, that's what you do in GTA. As you can see, there's a guy hosting it. So yeah guys, um, it's a really good mission. Uh, I I recommend you guys try it um, because it's like really easy. Um, so yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching, this has been my pleasure, and it's your boy Fnatic, and I'm signing out, peace.